coming in the music business and say you get next to a, 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 a guy like Leo or like Def Jam or whatever like that, and say the deal, he's jerking you pretty bad. So when he reads your book, he's like, hey, I'm, I'm supposed to get this, this, and this. I said, but sometimes you could just throw the rules out. And if your gut says, hey, I could blow up with this guy, go ahead and sign the deal. Now, here's part two to that chapter. After you blow up, take the contract, go to the Leo's office, get a match, and burn it. After you sell five albums, say, hey, Leo, watch this. This is our contract. Shh, new deal. My philosophy is if you have a gut reaction and you have a gut thing like this is the right label I'm supposed to be with, fuck it. Against all odds, take the deal. That's right. Take the deal. And then after you take the deal, know you have to sell records or you're going to get fucking jerked. But you know what? We all get jerked. Even when it's a great deal in the beginning. If you sell records, you're going to renegotiate that great deal. So who cares? Just get in with the right people that you think is going to blow you up and is going to be the thing. Forget that deal. And then once you get in and have the signed contract, work your ass off. Then after you work your ass off and you get up and you're this big success, walk into the thing after you sold your millions of copies and say, hey, you guys know you're going to have to give me a new deal here, right? Guess what? They're all going to say, yeah, we know. And they're going to sit down at the table and you negotiate a new deal. Because they want another record and they know they jerked you. <laughs> they know they jerked you. So the new deal, they're going to still jerk you. How about this? They're going to still jerk you, but you'll make a lot more money. Then if you sell some more records again, guess what? New deal again. <laughs> We're going to keep tweaking this up till it's right. Rick Ross is a rapper. You know who he is? He had a big record. Every day I'm hustling. Every day he's from Miami. Every label was caught in this guy. Right? It got down to either he was going to sign with me or Def Jam. Right? And I told Rick Ross, and I said, with all due respect, I said, Jay-Z is the best artist of our generation. He is the best rapper. He's extremely charismatic and everything. But I said, Joe, if you want to sell records, your best shot is with me. Because that's what I do. I plot, I strategize to make Rick Ross sell millions of units. And I said, I just don't know if Jay has what I have. And I said, now after you sign with Jay, the label's gonna work your music. Jay ain't working, he's the president, he ain't working. I said, with me, I'm the president, right? I said, I'm gonna, if you sign with me, I'm gonna work your records, rooted to the tutor. And I said, herein lies the difference, because I'm gonna micromanage you to the tune of two to four million albums sold. I said, now you could do that with Jay, but I said, me personally, I think your better chances is with me. I said, I'm a guy who helped Jay sell five million albums. This is what I do. Mm -hmm. Now, he went, they had more money, they was giving more things, he went with them. He's gonna probably get a gold, maybe sell 700,000 albums, successful. But I promise you, if he went and came with me, he would be selling two million albums in this messed up time or whatever. Because I believed in him, he had that gift and I wanted him that bad. Now, what do you do? Do you take the fool's gold? Watch this. Here, these guys are gonna give you a million dollars. I'm gonna give you 200,000. You're gonna run and take that million, right? Maybe the last million you ever get. Mm. But with me, with this 200,000, you sell a couple million albums, you may make a hundred million dollars in the course of your career. This is what I was saying. And it wasn't, that, it wasn't that much of a difference. But I'm saying even, like, artists should come to me for less. You know, Leo used to say that. And I agree with him, but to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? But artists should definitely come to me for less. Because with me, the potential of you having a long-lasting, successful career is higher than with anyone else, I feel.